Welcome to Bell Rose, Louisiana, here at No Problem Raceway. Throughout Louisiana, you will find towns in the beginning of their name, that word, Bell. It is French for beautiful, and we certainly have a beautiful day here in southern Louisiana for drag racing. High 70s, slight breeze, not a cloud in the sky. Certainly, we're going to have no problems here at No Problem Raceway for top alcohol competition in the NHRA. For the Dragsters, the top three qualifiers, speaking of bells, are ladies. Angel Sampe, the hometown gal, along with Julie Natus, the defending world champion, and your number one qualifier at a 523 elapsed time, Jackie Frick. Yeah, it does. It, uh, I kind of, the guys work over the winter, you know, makes it pretty sweet for them. Everything they've done all the time they put in and uh, the time and effort that John puts in to start out like that's pretty cool. Now I just have to hold up my end of the bargain. The number one of the world champion proudly displayed on the Randy Meyer racing ride for Julie Natus. Julie, last year winning that first world championship, now title defense with some notable names still in the class. What's it gonna be like defending a championship? We just gotta keep our head down and pretend like we didn't win last year and do what we did again. Well, the hometown girl has got a lot of hometown support. Angel here in her hometown state, Louisiana. Regional action, first full-time year in Top Alcohol Dragster. So much for you and your career. I am so excited. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm losing my voice already because I've been talking like crazy. Um, all my friends and family, everybody I know from South Louisiana seems to be here today. Wasn't as bad yesterday, but now everybody's coming in. Um, we had a great day yesterday. My team and I set a personal record. The car has never been 280 miles per hour. Well, last night we went 280 miles per hour. So we're feeling really good. First race of the season. We've already set a record for ourselves. I'm just hoping that God blesses us with a few rounds of racing today, you know, because everybody's out here to watch it and I want to get it done. So I'm blessed to be here and oh my gosh, the weather is absolutely amazing. And Nelson and the crew have done a beautiful job on this racetrack. I haven't been here in years, but I definitely will be back sooner than I was the last time. I'll, this is an awesome place to race. I hope you guys come out and see it. Jackie Frick, being the number one qualifier, does not have an easy round one, though. The last qualifier for this event of the nine cars that were on property for the eight spots, Scott Dean in a Randy Meyer racing machine. For the top alcohol funny car competitors, there are only three on the property, but those cars that are here are significant players in the region and in the world championship. Bob McCosh is here, number three finisher in the world last year and the region champion here for the central region. He said that in testing, they had a fabulous car, but they tested themselves into a hole and the qualifying shots yesterday that they put up were not remarkable at all not even full pulls down the no problem raceway kyle smith your 2022 central region champion he is here and already off to a great start being the number one qualifier at a 546 elapsed time and christine foster with a new to them chassis working out those bugs they are certainly hoping that in round one they're able to make a full pull down the no problem raceway
It was all routine with the power plant for Smith Racing. Kyle Smith, number one qualifier. You all loaded it up and took a shot out there in E1, but I'm sure you're ready for the final against Miss Foster. Oh, yeah, we're ready. You know, it's the first race of the year. We've been off for three months. We're ready to, to get back and uh, get going. So, you know, had to shake off some rust in testing. Uh, didn't make it down, but uh, kind of got it back aligned for qualifying and and uh, here we are on race day and, and looking forward to racing another family team. The Shambliss Racing Team, well, they are thrashing on the car. Christine Foster, the driver, picking up a round win, and that was certainly needed for this program, working out a brand new to you chassis with this operation. First time down the uh, drag strip with a full pool, knocking out a big opponent. Yes, absolutely. We, we needed it. The team morale just. This is our fourth attempt, and this chassis is so much different. I mean, it's, I think, a whole lot better than what we had before. Um, but for me as a driver and us as a team, everything's different. And so to get a win light with our first full pull was, it was huge. And to take out Bob Makosh, because he's such a tough competitor. in Top Alcohol Funny Car, the man who finished eighth in the world last year, Kyle Smith. Kyle, you all do go to national events from time to time and compete very well there, but you all, this team, aim to win this region championship, and this is a good start down here in southern Louisiana. Yeah, this is a great start to the year. You know, after, after, again, after being off for three months, uh, you know, we're all a little bit rusty, so get out of the box, shake some things loose, uh, and it's, it never hurts to uh, go into the second race of the year tied with uh, whoever wins down in Phoenix as a, the points leader. So uh, 
we'll uh, we'll enjoy that uh, that lead for at least uh, five days here, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll march down the road and see uh, see what the rest of the year looks like. And Jail Sampay is certainly being adorned by the hometown fans. Mahalik Brothers Racing has got her past round one, but for that, you've got the world champ in the next lane, Corey. No easy rounds in top alcohol dragster anymore, are there? There certainly are not. What has it been like getting the car, the team, prepared for what will be a full-time pool and also racing here in southern Louisiana? Well, it's, it's been a mad dash over the winter. We've got a lot of different things going on. We've got a, a new rig, um, building a new car, and then obviously we've got a, a semi-new driver. We had a great experience with her last year in Dallas, but to get down here at our home race, the crowd here has been unbelievable. This does not feel like a regional event. There's so much energy inside the racetrack, and it's been really cool for first time being down in Louisiana and be able to qualify well. We ran our best speed last, year, or last night, first time ever going over 280 now getting her that first round win, but like you said, we've got a real tough one coming up against the defending champ. Angel Sempe going to the final round in the hometown state. Angel, also top speed of the meet. Fastest you've gone, fastest this team has gone. Looks like you're set up good for the final round. I don't know what it is. If it, I know my team's got it going on. Um, we got Brian and Mark from Antron's Crew Chiefs helping out a little bit this weekend, but my team's doing it all. They're doing a great job. I don't know, maybe it's the range race and drag so that we put with Billy and the, and the crew at range right here in Donaldsonville. They're my major sponsor for this race. I can't thank them enough. We got another one, Protect from Homa, who's helping us out. If you guys need anything done to your RV, go see Protect. But you know what? This race is so important to me. The grandstands are filled with my family and my friends and, and you know, local fans. Uh, I haven't been down this racetrack since I, I believe it was like 2006 maybe. So I am so excited. All I asked when I said my prayers this morning was to win first round so I could do at least two runs. And we did that twice. We're going to the finals. I couldn't ask for more. Beautiful weather. Absolutely the world's most perfect fans. And I feel blessed today. So I'm having a good time. You got Jackie Frick in the final, certainly a tough opponent, but Yonjel, if you win this thing, y'all are gonna have second Mardi Gras down here. If we win this thing, everybody's gonna go crazy. It's gonna feel like a national event. Um, like I said, I just wanted to do well first round. I, I'm still learning. I am 100% a rookie in this car. So I, the good thing is that I don't have a whole bunch of pressure on myself, which I was the worst in the world at, you know, towards the end of my career. And now I just, I know that I'm learning and I know that every opportunity I get is a blessing. So if it's I get to go to the next round, I'm just so happy about it. So to go to the final against Jackie, I feel, I already feel like I won because I got to run three times today. I know it's going to be the toughest round of all. Um, she's a great racer, but she's also a great person. So I'm looking forward to race with her. And yeah, if we win, oh my God, the only person that's going to be upset is going to be Antron because he had to leave this morning to go to Orlando for the Matco Tools Expo. Um, but he told me that it usually happens when he leaves the race, whether it's his son racing or whoever's racing, 
they usually win. So I'm hoping that he's right. I'm hoping because he got his butt out of here, my team's gonna go to the winner's circle. So fingers crossed, we'll see. The No Problem Raceway winner circle. There's confetti on the car. They've got their beads. They got the Wally. John, Jackie, beautiful way to start the season here in Bell Rose, Louisiana. I always talk. I'm going to let him do the interview. Tell him how well, hard it was to get here. Yeah, this is a toughie for us. This is a real special race. We won it the year my dad died, and now we're back to redeem ourselves. And the, the car did its job. We tried a bunch of new stuff. A uh, long winter of hard work, and it came together. What he said. <laughs> <laughs> that concludes alcohol competition here at No Problem Raceway for Nitro on the Bayou. Congratulations to Jackie Frick, the winner in top alcohol dragster, and Kyle Smith, the winner in top alcohol funny car. Here in southern Louisiana, Belle Rose, Louisiana, there's not much. You're surrounded by sugarcane fields and refineries, but this facility, No Problem Raceway, does shine as a gem in this area. It is certainly a facility that you as a fan and as a racer need to check off the list that you have visited it. It's a racetrack that was born out of the desire to manage a racetrack rightly as Pat Joffreon, the builder of this facility, stated. And then I happened to go to another racetrack. They shut down the race on a perfectly beautiful day. And the uh, guy poked his finger, I told him, I said, you know, that's not a way to run a racetrack. He said, you don't like it? Build your own track. I said, no problem. And that's how this place became a full-fledged racetrack. It was just starting out to be a test facility. But I uh, got my friends together and went to the bank. The bank said, we never lost money on a Joffrey on yet, so all right, whatever you need to do, we'll loan it to you. And that's how we got it built. And it's also a track that, as of right now today and for the future with Nelson Hoyas, I believe, is going to be well managed. And Nelson is a man that desires for this track to move forward. Ultimately, I'm looking for the national event to come here. Um, I think this facility has every, every bit of the capacity to do that. We have 185 acres here. Um, so we're going to put more grandstands in place, we're going to add more, more concessions, more bathrooms, uh, improve again the fan experience and ultimately uh, try to get a national event here. Um, so if we can have the, the, the spring nationals here, we can have the Cajun sports nationals here, we can have the uh, divisional race and have two national opens, we will be the track that has the most NHRA events in the country. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button. Subscribe to Monday Morning Racer. I'm Lee Craft here at No Problem Raceway in Bell Rose, Louisiana for Nitro on the Bayou.